Hey, my seat won't go down. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Well, good luck having the baby, honey. I got tickets to the game. Because you're mine, I walk the intensive care unit. I don't like the new candy striper uniforms. Fish filet gloves. I guess I don't need those. I'm Ed Bradley. I'm Steve Croft. I'm Leslie Stahl. Time for your meds. <laughs> Right thing to do. Oh, you can't even tell he's had a baby. I got stigmata, I bet you don't. I could borrow your liver for just a minute. Oh, it's Rocky Mountaining. The death of Helmut Kohl. Magic fingers have gone berserk. Yana Glatchi. Yana Glatchi. Uses Ghostbusters technology. This is your brain on death. Any questions? Could I have some more applesauce? You know, it's just not death with dignity if there's an Estevez in the room. <laughs> no. Hang on, a couple of strands of soul got stuck to the tape on my mouth. Think he's hourly or does he get paid on a per soul basis? Hmm. See, if he'd put the club on his soul, this would not have happened. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna head down to TJ Mellonberry's for Coors Light. George Clooney's taking his shirt off. Oh, he's dead. Time for cigarette break. Soup taper? What? Yeah, let it get a little close. Yeah. The soup taker! Uh, does anything really star Joe Estevez? Isn't that kind of an oxymoron? Some kind of moron. <laughs> Hey, it's Jim McMahon. I bet you can never get the smell of Hardee's out of that car. <laughs> well, shouldn't she also be talking on the cell phone and eating yogurt? <laughs> gets any closer, he's going to get stuck in her hair. Dude. I'm charmed by the fact that he almost sideswiped me. <laughs> Video. Come here, boy. Yeah, crank that Sansui. Oh, that's a screenwriter and star. Earl told me. <laughs> I want to look my best if I'm going to see the motels tonight. Hmm. Do I want to look like David Bowie or Mary Gross? No, this would be more appropriate for a Thompson Twins concert. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's not a dress, that's a cake. Hmm, <laughs> I sure look forward to that Michael J. Fox movie tonight. She does all right on their data entry salary. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. That must be Lucille. Hi, Mr. McMillan. Is Natalie ready? I don't think Natalie is ever ready. Hmm? That's not Natalie, that's Tanya Harding. Story by so there will be a story that's encouraging. Yeah. Mm, I love you, Scott Bayo. This was before I grew a torso when he used to carry me around. <sighs> hmm. 
must be the all-white snake station. Why do you suppose there's flecks of blood on the wall? He's going to start a radio hitting business. <laughs> People showing up places. Your movie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, tough morning choosing between acid washed or blasted denim. Music to spin donuts by. Mm. Come on, man. I still got to pick up Tommy. Uh, let me wake up the rest of Menudo. Hang on. Hi, Mr. Taylor. Since I'm Bob Vila, I won't return your greeting. Oh, man. Please don't ever stop being the 80s when my life is over. You're dead, Nancy Kerrigan. I like it when I see me. Natalie? Karen's here. Uh, just a second, Dad. I'll be right down. Here, I'll put this in my loser ex-boyfriend picture drawer. See you, Pops. Yeah, sure, whoever you are. Later. We are planning to rock. <laughs> hey, when are you ever gonna get that thing fixed, anyway? I still gotta take the pistons out, but hey, I'm finished grinding the valves. He's preparing for the mother of all comb-overs. You never wanna make enough money to pay someone to do that? You know how. Congrats. Well, can't we just rock? And that's over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding, man. Chill out, will you? I don't do that stuff anymore. Really. He used Ban Rolon on his lips. <laughs> hey, let's get out of here. But by the way, do you wear your sunglasses at night so you can, so you can keep track of the visions in your dreams? Ooh. Yeah, kids today putting their cars in reverse, backing carefully out of driveways. Short for summer festering. Yep. Well, the balloons have certainly convinced me it's fine. I thought we had enough gas. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey that took my soul right there. Pick up Jimmy Page. Oh, now I ain't my Brad to <laughs> You better believe it, man. I'm psyched. I'm going to score me a funnel cake. Everybody fast. Ooh. Hey, what are you looking for? Nothing. <laughs> looking for Natalie. Natalie? Hey, so what if I am? Natalie? Hey, uh, this sounds like a real interesting conversation, you guys, but I'll check you guys out later. And since no one knows who I am, it won't really matter. What? I can't believe you, man. How many times do I have to tell you that Natalie McMillan is a rich... Hmm? The only way you're going to get a girl like that is with money, and you ain't got it. So forget it. Yeah? You don't even know the girl. Yeah, lucky for me. You want to go or not? No, I, I think I'll just hang out here for a while. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, come back and get me when the teddy bear band takes the stage. Yum, half a mushroom Swiss burger. Just wait for me under the floor mat, man. Wow, until this moment, his long hair and back completely distracted me from the fact that he's balding in front. Yeah. Mm. The lead singer for Mr. Mister is concerned. He's the driver. He rocks. Who else? Hold my finger. God, he's a catcher's mitt with eyes. I want the soul of that stuffed bunny on the window. It's boy George. What time? Who can't? Gonna be a lunch taker then. Is that all? No. There's one more. Just hit her in the leg with a pipe. Hmm, pricey, but you get to keep the glass. <laughs> hey, I see him. Where? Right over there. Don't point. Sorry, sorry. What should I do? Should I go over and say hi to him? I would. Natalie! Natalie McMillan, I thought you moved away. Where have you been? College. Well, where? New York. New York? Why so far away? It makes stalking you hard. I made kind of a deal with my dad. Well, it's great to see you. Come on, let's dance. 
I'm Gino Vanelli. He's John Stamosing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ahoy, darling. Oh, hi. I'm thinking I can. I want to be happy today. It's an Amish band. Don't let me be lonely. Hi, I'm indeterminately a man. I want to be happy today. I want to be happy today. Found a gay man. One minute. Just off for the Anything Goes rehearsal. Want to hear me do Super Bowl Shuffle? Enjoy the balloon. All I know is we're together. Hi, I had your baby, remember? I just got to hang around and be John Stamos, sorry. Yeah. You're a girl and stuff. <laughs> I was assaulted. It's fun. What's your name? I'm Debbie. Natalie. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry. She reminds me of someone I knew a long time ago. Reba McIntyre. Just someone I used to know. Man, that guy's got a small face. Now, just the Mennonites. Thank you. Our hand hewn wood CDs are available at the gate. Hmm? Uh, oh no, balloons. I hate balloons. Trees, convertible cars. Oh no, I'm overwhelmed. Well, hey, can I call you sometime? We can go to the George Will concert. Karen! Sorry, love is lifting me up where I belong. Karen! The lace on my skate broke. <laughs> that airs out my armpits. Hey, Zach, man, I'm really proud of you. I made it through the whole afternoon without asking Nally to dance. Yeah, I wanted to. Every time I got the nerve up, she'd disappear. Too bad it's not for good. <laughs> you know, I could be saying it is balloon so many times right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's noon. Summerfest is over. Oh, no, it's Kathy Griffin. Hey, where's Zach? Take a guess. A polishing her scrimshaw collection? Idiot. <laughs> Natalie. Difficultly did it. Zach. <laughs> How you been? Great. Great. Yeah. When did you get back in town? Uh, last night. Mm -hmm. So, what have you been doing? How would I know? I've been taking night classes at the college. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you taking? Well, it's a business course. I want to own my own business. Restoring old cars? <laughs> you remembered. Well, we did go out for five years and just broke up two weeks ago. What are you doing? Who are you waiting for? Karen. Well, where is she? Uh, she went somewhere with John. I don't know. She's with her John? She just left you here? No, I'm sure she's going to be back eventually. You know, there's a summer fest next year. She'll probably show up for that. Come on, now, let's go. Hurry, Skinner's on. A minute. Come on, I hate to leave you here like this. Well, she's got to come back for a car. Right, tomorrow maybe, not tonight. <laughs> come on, come with us. Are you sure it's okay? I sound sure. Just come on. <laughs> Just move those one hitters out of the way there. Hi. Oh, I think I just sat in someone's cheese burrito. What's this? <laughs> Natalie needs a ride. But she's upper middle class and we're slightly lower middle. <laughs> Well, let's go to Centerville Summerfest. Hey, I do, I really do walk the line. Hi, folks. You may be wondering if I'm Martin Sheen. Well, I'm not. Turns out I'm his vastly more talented, yet less appreciated brother. Thank you. Hmm, did the big chin say eight or 8.30? 
I'm at Bradley. <laughs> they are, in fact, traveling down the road, and they are flirting with disaster. Mm -hmm. My lunch is about to do a round trip, dude. Whoa. Oh, it's the virtual drunk idiot game. Come on, Brad, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? I'm in no hurry, man. I'm simply rocking. I'm never in a hurry. Oh, I like you're getting car sick. Well, that's because you're reading. Put that down. Oh, sorry. It's flashing back to other people's memories. <laughs> slow down. I mean, you better slow down. Sorry, I can't drive 55. Slow down now. <laughs> Leak taker. Where's David Byrne's head? <laughs> He's Billy Idling. Hi, I'm a tree. Just want to put in a good word or two for nature since the camera's on me. Thanks for your time. And I love that chord. Save the balloon! I hope we were thrown violently out of the movie. Damn. She's survived by her dance skins. Golden voice module. We got thrown from the car in an equidistant fashion. I hope they didn't hurt their tight pants points hardly renowned. Well, we lost the meaningless red-headed woman. Dummy, didn't you see that warning Joe Estevez crossing sign? At least my spiral perm wasn't damaged. Ooh, triple saw cow really takes it out of you. tree or something. Something, I don't know, maybe a cucumber. Mm -hmm. It's some son of a standing right in the middle of the road. We crash? It's her fault for being rich. And if y'all hadn't been yelling so much, I probably could have made it. You know, we must have gotten thrown clean from the car. Where is the car? Well, you learn how to drive, Brad. Huh? Hey, why don't you just shut up? Yeah? You know, this is really <laughs> weird. None of us even got hurt. Wait a minute, where's my balloon? What? Yeah. Candace. Ah. I'm Marshall Brodeen, a professional magician. I'm going to take her soul and her Garfield keychain. Her soul has a refreshing mint flavor. Ew, it smells like Marlboro Lights and Jovan Musk. Ah, hot, ooh, hot soul, hot, ooh, hot, ooh. Hey, buddy, could you just hand me your soul? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. This man's recently been rocking. Hey, my hand is covered with bronzer. Okay, just shove the irony down our throats. Oh, jeez. Man, I'm not gonna reach my quota. This is what happens when death is run by low-level bureaucrats. <gasps> Michael Learned. Can you work for me on Thursday? Uh, they're on layaway. What happened? Displacement. <laughs> you must track them, and you must abide by the rules of time and space. Yeah, what are those again? Quickly. Don't look at me like that. Kathy Rigby, paramedic. Just as I suspected. Hungry Jack complete. Just add water. Hey, it's Hamilton Jordan. Mm. 
uncut lick made. I should have known. Since I'm Griffin Dunn. Amazing that they weren't all killed. You find the ID? We're getting them. Oh, yeah. Tell me something. You see anything about this picture that doesn't fit? What do you mean? I mean that. The door? It was open when we got here. Yeah. So what do you figure the chances are of a door opening by itself on impact and a head-on collision? Quite good, really. But don't take this the wrong way, Sarge, but... Uh, Get bent. I think you're reading too much into it. It's always the same argument with us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some stroganoff. You like firemen? I sure don't. Man, my monthly soul count is really tanking. I'm never gonna win that set of steak knives. Oh, sorry, is the camera still on? Jeez. Okay, okay I'll get back. Well, they might have left their souls in the glove compartment. Hmm. Frank Booth Camp. Hey, you forgot us! What's that? You forgot four of the passengers, don't. Hmm? Oh, shut up. Problem. People love to hear me talk. Jeez. Oh, man. Please let my Billy Squire tape still be here. Oh, man. Look at it, man. It's mangled. God, we are lucky to be alive. Whoa, a lot of curly fries under there. <laughs> oh, Candace must have really been messed up, man. Do you have any gray coupon? My majorette boots. Hey, what are you doing in my car, man? Hey, wait a minute. You were the dude who was in the middle of the road. You made me wreck my car. That tightens my pants. Hey, what are you still hanging around here for? Hmm? You guys, I think we better go. My nephew made mighty ducks. Uh, hey, get off me! Uh, he's just panicking to get souls because he drew against his commission. America's most beloved drug retailer was killed today. Oh. Man, he's dead, man. Get he's dead! Hooray, let's tell the town. Hmm. Now, how can I possibly get the others? Perhaps by pursuing them, I might catch them in some manner. Hmm. No messy soul residue. Hmm. But I'm not going to check. Hey, Marlboro brand gas. 3-2 beer run. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You know I'd never cheat on you. Why, I'd never even look at another woman. Well, this is a man I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they have turkey jerky here. For sure I love you. Edward Hopper's Quickie Mart. Jolene, what's she got to do with this? They call the police. I don't see him. He's out there somewhere. We saw him murder somebody. He's not just going to let us go. Hey, we need to use your phone. This guy just killed our friend out there. He's after us. Hello? You expect me to believe that? I'm telling you the truth. Hey. Don't get out of here with this crap. I I'm not hanging up till I get this little matter settled. What's the matter? This guy, he, he won't get off the phone. He's just ignoring me. <laughs> you know I'm getting sick and tired of your accusations. Why, it's Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Who is that guy? Have you ever seen him before? No. 911. Hello. I, I, I want to make a report about a, a murder that happened. 911. Hello? Please, yeah. I, I want to make a report about a murder that happened tonight. Look harder. <laughs> she hung up on me. What is everybody deaf around here? What? Looks like he's wearing a seaweed hat. No, we're not going here. I'll stay right here where it's safe. Hey, I think I saw something. Where? In East Dubuque. What do you think? Right here. It's a tall thing made of wood with green stuff on top. Yeah, sorry I kept a lookout for the psycho killer. I don't think so. Hey, 
what's that? It's a moose. What do you think it is? It's a tow truck. It's the car! I love Rick Ocasek. Stop! Wait! Wait! Sorry, don't have a tow bar. Happy St. Blaze Day. Oh, you wearing that? He went to the old time picture booth at Six Flags. Tanya Harding is Scarlett O'Hare. Am I a Sheen or an Estevez? Mother. Wait! No! Give me your stupid soul. <laughs> Remember, you need only walk briskly to get away from him. Help me. I need condoms. What now? Oh my God, we forgot Tommy. We've got to go back and get him. Look, he's at the store. He's going to be safe there. Just get to your house and call the cops, OK? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you dumb son of a They'll kill you, too. Why don't you listen to me? I'm watching cops. If I die, I'm going to die eating string cheese and fruitopia. Hey, I just fed the cockroaches. Here, uh, give me some whoppers while you're in there. Why did you take the girl when you had the chance? She you know the rules. Hmm? You still have time. Not much. Where does that guy even keep his acorns? You must restore the balance or pay the penalty. Oops. Police, open up. My response to spills is to go home. Keep out? Oh, foiled again. Can I put up a lost cat poster? What do you want? Do you have a phone so I can call Martin to take over my role? Is it money you want, man? Is that what you want? Or do you want the new living room set from Boy Hill? I got, I got plenty of it, man. Go ahead, take it. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Where are the Stewart sandwiches? It's closing time. Does that mean that every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end? Mm, I think so. Okay. I was playing horsey. Mm, got a leaky cash register. I'll race you to film obscurity. <laughs> yep. Slow and steady wins the soul. A nice antebellum home. I'm antebellum brothers, does that count? <laughs> oh, Natalie, are you all right? We've been worried sick about you. What's going on here? What is the matter? Where's Dad? Where's he's Dad? with the back police. door's locked. He's looking for you. <laughs> There's someone out there. There's someone out there who's trying to kill us. What? Okay, the doors are locked. Do you have a gun? Well, my husband Where does. is it? Zach, no. Where is the gun, Mr. Dillon? Let's call the police and let them take care of it. No, what? no one is calling anyone until I find out what this is all about. Now, what makes you think someone is trying to kill you? There's a man out there. Mm -hmm. We don't even know who he, he is. He killed Brad. We oh. saw him do it. Brad DeVille, we saw him do it. He's after us. He chased us here. Oh, I understand, oh. dear. I'll get the pampering. Hmm? I don't know where. But he's out there somewhere. Natalie, come on upstairs and let me draw you a hot bath with Epsom salts. Or draw you a tree. Now? Mom, I'm not five years old. I know, sweetheart, but you need to relax and calm your nerves. Come on, I'll give you some heroin. OK, just let me sit here a little bit longer. I'll follow you up. OK, I'll go turn on the water. I'll do a strip tease for it. Oh, I have just got to write Mom out of the story. No, she's gonna add Mr. Bubble and give herself a urinary infection. Being low class, we only had corn cobs for windows. See anything? No. Well, I mean, I saw some of the outside and stuff. I'm really sorry about what happened to Brad. Yeah, so am I. And I was gonna go to Chess King tonight, so this just bites. Well, uh, my 
my dad can take you home when he gets here. <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea. I I'll just go with the police. I'll beat myself up and have myself held without charges. Well, if I don't see you again, Zach... It'll be too soon. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Zach, goodbyes are more effective when someone leaves. Wait, Natalie? I really didn't know anything about the coke in the car tonight, about Brad, about anything. Zach, it's okay. It's okay. You're lower class and stupid, I understand. Natalie? Uh, just a second, Mom. He's making violent love to me, Mother. Sounds like I'm wanted. You are. <laughs> Rick Springfield after Monty Clip's accident. Natalie. You want Batman crazy foam? I'm coming, Mom. Uh, look, can I just help you take your clothes off? Or... Mike, dumb Zach. Mom? Yeah, this one. Yes? Oh. There you are. Yeah. I wonder if the Natalie's Bath channel is on. I could have sworn I heard something from this exact spot. Now, how would you know if it came from this exact spot? Well, I mean, from somewhere around here. What were you doing? I was just putting something away in the attic. Your father. Oh, for a minute there, I thought... Hmm? Oh, never mind. I'm going to lay down for a little bit. Can you turn off the water when the tub's full? Of course. Thank you so much for turning off the water. I'm so glad you were home. Now they're just gratuitously postponing the nudity. She looks like a drag queen without his wig. Mm. Alfie, what's the matter? I pooped in my water supply. Okay. <clears throat> Interior, bedroom, me. Draped across the bed, tousled but tawny. I lay there, hand on my taut tummy, still pretty in a worried kind of way. Zoom in closer to my prettiness. Closer. We're gonna cut back to me, then me, then me, and more me. We've got a screenwriter. She needs a coffee drip. Stat. I'm going to bed. Don't you know, I usually yeah. like snuff films, but this one ain't cutting it. I don't get it. What happened to the skeleton? Huh, I hear clothes coming off. <laughs> Coast is clear. I'm ordering a steel cage match on pay per view. I don't know, but I think we better get out of here. Hey, whose house has all the rooms? Is that my tummy or is that a raging hell beast? Hey, they have three pronged outlets, those bourgeoisie jerks. <laughs> Wipe out. It's the pantry of death. <sighs> Don't miss the terrifying water turning offing. Is there a turkey farm in the hall? Charlie. Now beat it, biped. Don't you remember me? What's wrong, boy? Well, I'm really just feeling this emotional malaise these days. I don't know. Good-sized yard, plenty of room to rock. That's okay. Testicles are overrated. There's nobody out there. Oh, that's right. Dogs can't see idiots. Okay, you big sissy. Oh, roof, roof. Okay. Man, you know, this whole bath thing is getting to be more trouble than it's worth. Yeah. I'm ready for our Japanese tea ceremony. Wow. 
Mom looks like Senor Wences's hand. Mm. I checked on the tub. It's got several more hours to go. Hmm. Do you plan on looking like this much longer? Now she takes off the wig and it's Kevin Bacon. <gasps> A huge mannish turtle. Oh no, it's you, Mom. Must <laughs> <coughs> have fallen asleep. Your bath is ready. Oh, thanks. I filled it with golden popcorn topping. Natalie. I'm Ann Landers. I overheard your conversation downstairs. You're not considering dating Zach again, are you? <laughs> well, I still have feelings for him. How could you have feelings for someone who put your life in danger? Mom, I thought you liked Zach. I don't know what you see in him. Sweaty proletarian pecs. What did he possibly give you? You sound just like Dad. Natalie, listen to me. Mom, you're hurting me. Well, not you and your ass, Mom, so help me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I was just concerned about you. I didn't mean to upset you. It's okay. Okay. I'm gonna go withhold sex from your father. <sighs> ah, finally, possible nudity. Okay, <laughs> sit back. Yes. Enjoy nudeness. <sighs> that nude arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, oh dear. Now, now I'm just embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> 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 Remember when you caught me doing this to you, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> you need any more water in the bathtub, honey? At the top of the news tonight, a serious car accident leaves two young people critically injured and three dead. We break now for a report. Hey. An official statement, Mayor? Please, I'd rather not comment at this time. Is it true that doctors are informing you to disconnect all life support systems for your daughter? I think it's a personal matter. Ew, I instantly need counseling. Just an official comment, Mayor. You want an official comment? I proclaim it lick me day. The doctors have declared my daughter... Patient of the month. ...brain dead. We have accepted their recommendation to disconnect all life support systems. Everywhere. Okay, here it comes. Oh. Oh, I got something in my eye what? suddenly. Oh. Come on, hurry up, Crow. It's an underwear suit. What? 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 Well, help me out here. You got to try it. Come on, Mike. Wow. Well, all right, I'm trying. Come on, get it out. Wow. Oh, damn it. Keep showing underwear, movie. I'll be right back. I got I to gotta get this out. Poor guy. Man, is there even a name for mom's little sickness here? A little affairism. I'll rinse out my pantry holes for you. Hey, anybody see the Visine? I can't see a thing in here. <sighs> so she's been using her Epilady. Uh, is there a slower mow available? Any kind of eye wash? Anything? Gypsy, you gotta have eye wash. That big ass eye of yours. Hello! You know, if she turns around. I know, I know. If that happens, promise me you won't tell Crow. Oh, yeah, right, sure. And what's going on now, you guys? It's fine. You, you got time. I'm good. <laughs> she, she's turning around. Did you say she's turning around? No, 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 Crow. I said she's spurning a clown. Well, I like that, too. I mean, where's the bison? Oh, boy. How do you get a purple blood? Midnight. Why don't you leave my husband alone? He's made a statement. Please give us that privacy. Okay, wait. I, I got a big Sam's Club thing of Visine in the attic. I'll be right back. Ah. <sighs> As you can see, Mayor McMillan is under a great deal of stress this evening. St. Joseph Chief of Staff, Dr. Richard Reiner, has informed the News 10 that with parents' permission, the life support systems for both Natalie McMillan and the other surviving passenger, Zach Taylor, will be disconnected at midnight. All this plus Andy Rooney. What what you what you Stay, sorry. Natalie. You'll never die. Or a lot of dust bunnies under here. Daddy, get out of here! Get out of here! Now she has to put on her underwear in slow mo. Get your dad's gun! 
I'm instantly dressed. Okay, I'm all visined up. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> there she is. Ah, oh, hell, a robe. What the hell is this? I saw a lot. I saw everything. Shut up, Servo. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stupid on, Servo. In Soul Taker. I have an offer for you, Natalie. Twelve issues for twelve dollars. I've got an offer for you too. Let him go. I'll let him go. If you come with me. No. I'll go with him. Go ahead. Put him down. Put him down. I swear I'll shoot. Take a oh. picture with him and let him go. Damn, the battery's dead. That's the kind of personal service you don't get from other soul takers. Mm -hmm. There. The still pictures are moving faster than the actual movie. So a seven iron knocks him cold, but a gun does nothing. Mm -hmm. You can't kill a man that's already dead. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you leave us alone? Belong with me. I belong with him. Don't be scared, Natalie. I got him. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I've done that on spring break dozens of times. <laughs> I was going to give him a piggyback ride, but I slept. Zach, are you okay? Oh my God, thank God, I thought you were dead. Are you okay? Your mom is weird. I'm fine. Come on, come on. But after all that, no bass. Mm -mm. None. Is that your decision then? That's your decision, Shane. To <laughs> die with him? Um, they're gone. Greg Luganis in the role of a lifetime. Dr. Fletcher, Dr. Fletcher, please report to intensive care. So how dead's your kid? Zach was really looking forward to seeing Natalie again. Well, he saw her, didn't he? Grant. You don't think much of my boy, do you? I try not to think about him at all. Oh, Grant, please. I'm sorry. We're all upset over what's happened. Please excuse my husband. He has a tendency to say things he doesn't really mean. I like fudge. You don't mean that. Call for Dr. Watson. I hate buses. Oh, do the buses run this late? Yes, sister, I checked. There'll be one in just a few minutes. Stop running or I'll hit you in the head with a ruler. The police station is in the bar. Hey, the police can't help us now. Come on. Let me get on this bus. It's supposed to take us to the hospital. Oh, my God. We've got to go back to my house. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop. What are you doing? My mom. He said something to my mom. No, no, no. Your mom is fine. She's at the hospital. What? Hey, look, you wrote this crap. When I was at your house, I saw her on the news. She's, she's at the hospital. She's fine. But she was there. She hugged me. That wasn't your mother. That was that man. Hmm. How is that possible? I don't know, but look. They don't see us. You see that? They don't see us. Uh, is she you? That clerk didn't see us. You know, I'd rather follow the story of the nuns getting home. Mm. I don't understand any of this. What's happened to us? Why don't they see us? All they know is that our bodies are at the hospital, and we're here. You mustn't give me a break. So we're dead? <gasps> is that what you're saying? No, our bodies are being kept alive with machines at the hospital. My body's hooked up to a snowblower. So how do we get back to our bodies? I don't know. But let's get on this bus, and they'll take us to the hospital. We can find out when we get there. <laughs> Gee, your soul smells terrific. Oh, I broke this bus driver's jaw with a Bible once. Thank you. It's everyone with a dead daughter gets a cup of soup night here at the Dr. hospital. Elliot. Grant. Dr. Elliot, oh. Call on two. Yes. Thank you. 
Apparently, it's on me. Dr. Reiner left this for you. Oh, wow. I gotta go with the Packers over the Lions. Favre's really kicking butt lately. The Redskins are the Chargers for sure. I don't know what I'm going to do without Zach. Maybe I'll shave my beard. Ever since his mother died. Look, I'm sorry I killed her. Must you bring it up every time I see you? I'm sorry. You don't want to hear about my problems. It's okay, Mr. Taylor. We understand. I'm not saying we care, but we understand. The nuns just flip off the driver and run off the bus. Hold on, my soul isn't wearing a sports bra. You know, most directors forget to give you the bus details. <laughs> bus taker. I'm no good with sick people. What am I even going to say to my body? This looks like a bus. It's all coming together. <laughs> Let's go to the cafeteria first, see if they got any tapioca left. Wait, how do we know what floor our bodies are on? We're just going to have to check each one. Ah, oh, souls can press elevator buttons, but they can't be shot. Hmm. What? They said on the news that at 12 o'clock they're going to cut the machines off. Why 12 midnight? Oh, man, there's tax reasons. Hey, Urkel. <laughs> Weird thing is, he's listening to Gregorian chants. You didn't know I could get jiggy with it, did you? Well, I guess Estevez can become a member of DeBarge at any moment. Man, he's the rich little of shapeshifters. You gotta give him that. I'm at Brad. Now shut up. Where are you taking me? Administration and billing. Seventh floor. Oh, it's one of those high class elevators. Um, aren't you due on the set of Werewolf? So he comes from a taller building then, mm -hmm. apparently. Can we tempt you with desserts? Packers! He said he had had to have a flashback to remember his best friend. Mm. Oh, I love you, Buttons. Mm, love. You don't need to be frightened, Natalie. Mm. Don't you see? What's happened to you is extraordinary. It's very rare for a soul to be jarred from its human host. Soul will get jarred off the wild mouse sometimes. Huh. I wonder where that bus is, Mike. They're letting us down on the whole bus thing. Mm. Man, I hate this. It's so awkward in elevators. We're here. Where's here? The second level. My world. Where I'm more successful than Martin. All you have to do, Natalie, is say the word, and the door to my world will open to you. What do you mean, your world? Who are you? <laughs> An angel. An angel? I'm almost sure. I take care of souls. I can keep you safe. Like the others in the wreck? Now, uh, let's not fling mud like that. I want to go back. Say that, Natalie. I want to go back! In your world, only death awaits you. Take me away from here! Hmm? Very well. You big baby, I don't even care, baby. Then I'll show you. No, she thinks you're saying, blah, blah, blah. Are you still looking for her, man? And you're Marconi. How many times do I have to tell you? Natalie McMillan is 
out of your league, man. <laughs> this door is ragging on me like my idiot friend used to. It, it, it's the blonde guy. Yeah. He's become a soul taker. Right. Blonde Show guy. Us. Right. Show us. Hurry up and do it. Come on. Father dude. You're still around. I thought for sure you'd be dead by now. Come in. Okay, if you could just bring your urine sample to the desk. What happened to you, man? I got a new job. I didn't know I was applying for it. I make pickups and deliveries. So the afterlife is just vague, menacing dopes from our own lives. That's the ultimate answer. Uh, don't worry, you're not on my list. Art Garfunkel. Funny gag condo. You still haven't figured it out, have you, man? We have. Can we go? Zach. Led Zeppelin was wrong, man. Shut up. There is no stairway to heaven. Zeppelin's never wrong, man. Even if there was, you, you couldn't buy your way in. Is Sabbath wrong too, man? The truth is, I don't even know if there is a heaven. And that's all part of it. They keep us in the dark. Like a bridge over. Yeah, got to punch in. I don't even really know what to do here, man. Yeah, I had this big master class from God, but I was hammered the whole time. Let's see, you kind of take the some bitch here, look off kind of mystical, keep the arms straight, you know, I think. There we go. Nah, shoot, I got her last bowl of jello, too. I toasted her ass. Nothing, man. She's right here. Better keep it warm in my pit. So, how's the babage in heaven? Rat! Hey, it's new clear blood. Hmm. What the? Oh, oh, it's a habit trail. I wanna thank you. Ugh. Imelda Marcos is close by. Uh, honey, you know it's five two. Why don't we just do it now? Call it an early night. Hey, wow, she's really improved, but it is midnight. Sorry. Do you feel like I do? Are the papers ready? Because I'm ready to kill. Mom! Don't let them! By the way, I ran another EEG. Stop it! Oh, we can run EEGs all night if it's on your insurance. No. No. She's snuffleupagus. <laughs> so, I'm not going to make my tea time, huh? Thoughtful moment. Good luck with this one, pal. Sheesh. No, Mom, I want to live. You can't go back, Natalie. Goodbye, Pee-Pee. Pee-Pee? She can't hear you or see you, and if you touched her, you would only frighten her. Here's an old door hinge. It's better this way. In the human dimension, people die, they leave you. With me, you get to be a ring. Stay with me. I'll never leave you. I mean, I'll go to the store to get groceries. What about Zach? Zach is dead. That's what I said. Come to my world now, Natalie, while there's still time. Come with me. At this special low fare. Oh. Hello? Kind of need an answer. <laughs> <sighs> Good to see Joel. Hope he fixes the ship. How? How did this happen to you? The accident. Oh, that bites. You want to get baked? I tried.
tried to tell them over and over that I didn't mean to hurt anyone, but they didn't believe me. Uh, who would that be now? I guess it doesn't matter how it happened or whose fault it was. But if you kill someone, this is how you have to pay it back. It really blows. I need your help. Man, you owe me. What do you mean, I owe you? The accident. Dude. And I want to live. I want to get back into my body. You're crazy, man. You can't do that. How do you know? You just told me they keep you in the dark. Well, they gave us some stuff. I didn't really read it. And then I spilled the horsey sauce all over it. Dude. Man, they really got to fry my... <laughs> and Natalie. Natalie also. Natalie? Chick Harsh is my buzz, dude. Are you sure she's worth it, Zach? Does she really love you? I love her. That's what matters. That's why I've been stalking her so much. I don't think they're gonna fry your for for doing a good deed. Eggs? They'll probably give you a promotion. Be able to work the counter, man. The oncoming elevator has its brights on. Take my hand. Who's your date, Ron? On the bug zapper floor. This is a bridge between the human dimension and the world of angels. <laughs> Connected to a hospital? You're an angel of death. Well, associate angel of death. It's my fate, Natalie. Just as it is yours. To cause people to die? Solve, Joe. Let's get busy. <laughs> we don't cause people to die, Natalie. We merely take their souls when it's time for them to go. Yeah, death causing is a whole other department. I was chosen to take your soul. Yeah, sure, I shuffled some papers. If I don't. No one will. Is that bad? Do you understand? Oh, and for technical reasons, your soul must be naked. Come with me, Natalie. All it takes is a kiss. <laughs> sure, but can your soul take chlorets? Oh no, Joe's improving this. A pact between souls must be seen. Yes. Can't he just bend at the waist and hug you from arm's length? Natalie! Don't tongue the Reaper! Zach, you're alive! Natalie, run! You lied to me! Don't leave me, Natalie! Come on! You're boned, man. Come on, it's thoroughly past midnight by now. Elevators, too. The director does buses and elevators well. Yes. Yeah. This is the floor you're looking for. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks. Hey, remember what I told you? Rock on. Put it right on the heart. Right. Sorry what I said about Zap. Oh, you better bring a couple of these. You might need them. Can't be careful naming after me, man. <laughs> Do you really think this is going to work? Are we going to be able to get back into our bodies? Hey, hurry up. <laughs> hey, man, I got to go. St. Peter's going to be tar. Standing scene, 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 over long film. Film, film, fuck, 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 film, over long film, extending the scene, over long film. Oh my God. Prudential signs. Just do it, you dummy. I'd rather make out than live. Man, I really need to freshen my makeup. Ooh. Duh. Natalie? Uh, oh, Ritz and Spit. Uh, God help me! There is no God, there's just dude. Ah, her soul got snagged on her bruise. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know what they're going through, though. You know, once I left my soul on the top of the car and drove off. And that's why I put strips of Velcro along the edges of my soul to hold it in place. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I wish my shop teacher were here. He'd know what to do. Now, what is he doing? Her soul's gonna be all threadbare and worn out. <laughs> and stay out, damn kids nosing around my souls. Learning to palm the soul is the tough part. Something screwed up, but I can't call my boss again. I'll get in trouble. A guy running through a hospital. That's new. Yeah. Do you feel a lower class breeze? Wheeling Captain Pike down the hall. <laughs> Those balloons cheer me up. Estevez is on his way to give his healing through humor workshop. No, don't go in there. You might find something interesting. Wow, this is terrific action here. Hmm? Now these ants, they're all over the juju bee you dropped, Mike. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Man. Really fighting. Let him go. It does provide a stark contrast to the film. <laughs> go. It's the THX 1138 stairs. <laughs> you know, this has action and nostalgia because we've seen it before. Well, Maul, don't do that movie. Well, there is a seventh floor. It's Heaven's boiler room. Yes, behind the fluffy surface of Heaven hums a complex infrastructure. Drum machine is stuck on. Mm. You know, David Byrne is right. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. Come on. You know, you really can see Akira Kurosawa's influence here. You know, what with the way there's a movie going on and stuff, yeah. and it's on film. Something Hitchcock would have been proud of, his pet chimpanzee directing. <laughs> Boom. Hey, Zeppelin was right. There is a stairway to heaven. Hmm. Sure, soul taking's hard, but it's better than making cold calls like he used to do. Alarm! Alarm! Schnell! Max Schnell! <laughs> I ain't gonna kiss you, Estevez. You can put my green crap in that ring, but no kissing. What's on top of the Heaven Building? <laughs> You're it. It's all over now. Oh, I wish that were true. I left the house this morning with three soul rings. Oh, his 32K cash memory brought up a little video. <laughs> He's letting the air out of a balloon on the way down. God needs to know when you're taking your vacation. It is over now. <laughs> Eight plugs pulled, two to go, not bad. Hmm. Is he dead? No. I don't even disconnect the machines. I was just checking on him. The spotter left that sign on the floor. So your soul is subject to gravity? I have so many questions. Can souls get toe fungus? Can I still have butter if I'm a soul? And back in the hospital for more run. I can still take them. Okay, can souls put out their t-shirts? Does Retson work on souls? Help me. Man, my boxers are riding up my crack. Look, the clock doesn't figure it all. Stop showing the clock. You spent that nickel. Paula Cole, that's who he looks like. Yeah. It's 12.03. Lunch is getting cold. Refused your order. Violated the balance. 
You know the penalty for presumption. Huh? What the hell? Uh, hey, 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 now wait a minute. No, no, no. Huddle up in the middle here, movie. Come on. Uh, no. You know, I, I don't think this movie knows the penalty for presumption. <laughs> You gotta get to Summerfest, man! Are you gonna be grieving like this at the Grayson's dinner tomorrow? My God, that kid's from a lower class. Exactly. Yeah, I'm drunk, so what? Hmm. Okay, the first time the soul must have been tilted. It wasn't sitting in the rack just right. Check out the headband. He must have joined Loverboy. Come on, come on, the machines! What do I pay you people for? Don't die. Drop it. Spit it out. No, no. Spit it. Don't die. Because if you die, it'd be like so bogus. I love your clownish hair and your pasty forehead. You can make it. You know you can make it. I know you can, because I don't know. I can make it right. Evan's tired of the crap, man. There is no appeal. If they die now, they're lost forever. Lost to whom, from, where, why, and good or bad. Come on, just hop in the ring. Come on. Don't put me in there, it stinks! Oops. Um, there are a few medical procedures we could try, if you could back out of the way, please. <laughs> Remember the great flashbacks we used to have? <laughs> the movie's story arc. Come on! Make it nothing. Dude's gonna drive us to Taylor's Falls tomorrow! Look at her go. She's running here, there, over there again. She's like a ferret. She's alive. Quit pulling my hair. Well, look, she's darting about like mad. Uh, so you're going to live? Well, I'm going to need your group number. Hey, it shrunk. Hmm? He's such a loser. Oh, shh. Well, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. It's all right, Zach. We've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? We want to thank you for saving Natalie's life. We owe you a great deal. Now, why the Kataro soundtrack? Thank you very much, sir. We'll leave you two alone now. All right. Thanks, Dad. Bye, sweetie. Bye. We'll see you back at the house. All right. OK. Mm. Bye -bye. Stupid poor kid. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Surprise? A little bit. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. I don't have a wiener. But that's not the surprise. Ah, oh, I broke my leg. Can I look? Not yet. Not yet. Almost. The other side of the mountain of crap. OK, now you can look. A plastic surgeon ready to fix your nose. <sighs> what do you think? Oh, Zach. Yeah, unfortunately, it's Christine. I worked overtime, so it'd be ready before you got out. Dude's gonna come by later and roll it. <laughs> it's beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Yep, she did write this. Come on. Here's my gearhead. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a solid soundtrack of everything. Hey, he bought khakis. If he could just learn to buy polo shirts and turn the collar up, he could run in her circle. I call it gas taker. You know, I thought the car is Joe Estevez. I feel like we've been given a second chance. We have. I think. I'm still sorting it out. But what if he comes back? we will buy more hair gel. Maybe we'll meet again in paradise. There is none. It's only a boiler room at the top of a hospital. Splash. And what do they do with that second chance? Start souping up cars and going to Summerfest. <laughs> Oh, 
I parked in the emergency zone. Screw that stroke victim. So, poodle hair and rubber lips drive off into the sunset, and it's sunshine and roses ever after, eh? <sighs> Uh, you seem dubious. Yeah, Mike, I am dubious. I'm dubious. My guess is that on the way home, scrawny boy there leans over to rub his carnauba waxed lips on his little honey and ends up ditching that sweet ride of his. Crow, you with me on those? Oh, no doubt. Things don't go near as smoothly as Mike would like us to think. Wait, I didn't say no, things No, Mike's living in a fool's paradise. Dreamer. No happy endings for our heroes, though. Nope. After Teen Boy puts his ride in the ditch there, he needs extra money to pay the insurance costs. And to buy a new disc sander and a couple of gallons of Bondo. So he takes a second job at Carl's Jr. Yep, yep. And about a week into his new job, he comes to pick her up in his busted car, wearing a big orange hat and smelling a frying medium. And she calls on the whole relationship immediately. Only it drags out painfully for about another month because she doesn't have the guts to tell the second-rate Matt Latanzi to take the train. Yep, yep, yep. And finally, she gives him the news through the drive-up intercom that she just wants to be friends. And when the whole restaurant is finally done laughing at the poor Claude, he walks off the job and drives straight to the municipal liquor store to pick up a quart of lemon-flavored gin and a six-pack of red grape malt duck. Uh, 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 yeah, hang on, you know, Mike, Mike might think that was the happy ending. <laughs> so you guys really think I'm a naive Pollyanna, don't you? Um, yes, we do. Hang on, there's more Mr. Rose-colored glasses. So he drinks his way through the whole paper bag, drives a good 75 yards, and crashes into a pole. Well, the car hangs on to the base of the light pole, so he can't get out of there. He thumbs a ride back to his house, but the police arrive about 45 minutes later, wake him up, and give him the breathalyzer. He blows a 1.3, so it's off to the Crowbar Motel for Mike's little pal. Well, of course, he calls his former girlfriend to come pick him up, but Mom answers the phone and hangs up on him. His one call spent, he stays the night at the place with the striped sunlight, courtesy of the county. Soon, he's straining, rubbing alcohol through pieces of burnt toast he found out behind Zelda's diner. <laughs> no, hang on, wait a minute, I think that's a touch bleak. <laughs> well, you know, maybe you're right, Mike. Maybe they have a wondrous, frilly wedding in the frou-frou land of bunnies where magical fairies blow kisses to the stars <laughs> and polka-dotted toadstools sing good ship lollipop to the tiny mice in their little feety pajamas. Okay, and there's nothing in between. It's either grain alcohol in back alleys or a happy world of rodents in feety pajamas. Yes. I mean, why is that so hard to accept? You know, <laughs> you guys need help. You really do. Jeez. Jeez. Wait, what's with Mike? Grain alcohol me, through toast.